Welcome to a tutorial of iPhoto. Today, we will be using photos that I took at my father's wedding. After opening iPhoto, you can drag the photos you wish to edit into the main window. From there, select the edit button at the bottom left of the screen. You can remove red eye. There's also a straightening tool which can level out a photo. The enhance button automatically adjusts your photo, but it sometimes does not match the effect that you are going for. By clicking the adjust button, we can begin to start editing our photos. The first thing we can do is adjust the histogram. This is a graphical display of the colors seen in your photos. The darks are on the left and the lights are on the right. To make this dark photo lighter, we can bring the right hash mark more towards the center. There we go. Two other very useful tools are the highlight and shadow adjusters. These just affect the light or dark areas of your photo. The highlights darken the brights, and the shadows brighten the dark spots, so you can see a pattern on a dark shirt for instance. But be careful you don't go overboard, or else you'll get the photos that look very processed, like this one. <gasps> it's okay, Kathy. We'll fix it. See? Much better. Another tool we use a lot is cropping. This allows you to set the focus point more efficiently. Here you can see a lot of unnecessary things in the background. So we will eliminate them by using the crop tool. Simply click the crop tool and highlight what you want to see and hit enter. Much better. The effects window will give you many options like black and white, sepia, vignettes, and color boosting. And that's it! By using these simple tools, you can take your good photos and make them great.